All right, so this video is about how to set your camera to record in a RAW format. I'm working on a Canon right now. This is a Canon 5D Mark II, but Canon's menus are all fairly similar. So if you're working on a Rebel or a 7D, it's all going to be roughly the same as far as navigating your menus. For the 5D Mark III, um, the way I have it set up, I push Info. And then I just tap this joystick. That brings me to this menu here, and that should be fairly recognizable to you. Every Canon camera has this, and I know Nikon and every other brand is going to have something similar. So we're trying to find this menu. On the 5D Mark III and on the 7D, you hit the Q button. On the 5D Mark II and the Rebel, it might be a little bit different. We're looking for this little box right here. Yours might say JPEG. Um, mine says RAW. This is where you get to pick your recording formats. Now, I have mine set to RAW, and you can see right here, that's talking about the little scroll wheel that's up on top. This is talking about this scroll wheel right here. So to set it to record in a JPEG format, you're going to adjust this scroll wheel here. And to set the RAW recording, you're going to use that scroll wheel up on top, which is just barely out of frame. You can have it record on both, and you can see the information is changing up here in that top menu. I rarely have a reason to record in both formats. So, the different RAW sizes, you have your RAW, which is as large a file as you can record with the most information. And these are two different S RAW stands for small RAW, so ju they're just smaller image sizes. You can see the numbers changing up here. And then JPEG, again, you have the large large, medium, medium, small, small, and that little icon next to the letter, you can see this one's kind of jagged and this one's curvy. That's talking about how the pixels blend together. This is for a sharp pixel definition. This is for a smooth pixel definition for the JPEG. Raw, it doesn't matter because you're recording all the data that the camera can possibly capture. So to record in raw, you just need to make sure that this menu is set from that dash, which this dash means it's not recording in anything for RAW, and this means it's now recording in RAW. By default, you can see if both are set to dashes, it will record to JPEG. So make sure you just click this over to RAW. Now you're recording in RAW. Every picture you take will be a RAW file, and you can learn how to use those and make the most out of your RAW files in my other videos. So go check them out.